Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It has been a uh, pretty busy weekend in the world of Call of Duty. We actually saw several new updates go live towards the end of last week and over the weekend that have a pretty big impact on gameplay. Some standard gameplay updates that affect, you know, all of Warzone and DMZ and whatnot. But then we also got some new meta based updates as well that will impact a lot moving forward so uh some of this info is stemming from the call of duty updates twitter account some of it is also stemming from the treyarch account as well jumping right into this a uh, bit of a spicy update over the weekend call of duty updates tweeted out saying mw2 and warzone 2 update today team ricochet executed a ban wave that impacted over 1500 accounts across mw2 and warzone 2 for cheating and hacking offenses now that said this is a relatively smaller number than what we're used to seeing when they are talking ricochet updates uh brief little sidebar here i see a lot of comments asking zach are they ever going to address the shadow bans where you can get mass reported and get shadow banned are they ever going to address uh you know the updates to ricochet are we going to see any new changes to that they pretty much do not communicate about ricochet part of it they don't communicate because they don't want to give any uh cheat developers any more information than possible they don't want to say hey we updated this to counter this and then the cheat developers can say okay we'll just update this to counter you then it's a never-ending battle part of it is just they just straight up don't want to communicate I and mean, i'm not a big fan of that their transparency could be a lot better in my opinion but anyways back on topic here uh 1500 accounts much smaller usually we're used to seeing like 10,000 accounts or 50,000 accounts or something i don't know if that's because the player base is smaller or maybe because ricochet is uh working more and there's a lot less cheaters in game but spicy because it just so happens that over the weekend during cod champs there was i think it was a challengers player who was banned mid-tournament tried to go to land and cheat i'm not sure how dumb you could be but that's probably not the best idea You're basically just telling on yourself there so uh that was kind of funny to see going down on the timeline and of course the replies to the cod tweet here saying that team ricochet has been active in executing a new ban wave were uh, entertaining to say the least there was a lot of shade being thrown at uh the player in question there Anyways, Call of Duty Updates also tweeted out saying DMZ and Warzone update. We've just released a minor update to address the following. Some loot and items from Battle Royale were inadvertently appearing in DMZ, including the counter UAV. The correct loot should now appear in DMZ and we've removed the counter UAV. This change affects weapons and ground loot since the launch of season four. So this one has also had some pushback because a lot of players seem to think that these were just intended gameplay updates for dmz there was going to be a counter uav active in game that you could find and actually use because obviously there's a lot of uav spam in dmz as is so uh from my understanding at least what i've read from the community feedback what i've seen in some comments in the videos and even over on twitter uh is that it was solid it was a nice update and then it was removed and you're like okay well there goes that it's the classic game of mw2 warzone 2 and dmz here of is it a bug or is it a feature and in this case it was in fact a bug moving on from that uh call of duty updates also followed that tweet up by saying uh they also fixed an issue incorrectly tracking progress in tiles in the co-op menu after completing a raid episode they disabled the play again option in vondal resurgence solo so if you're playing that actively you're gonna have to keep backing out to the main menu and they've also adjusted the contract appearance rates in vondal dmz so if you are actively playing dmz on the new vondal map you'll notice that the contract spawn rates are gonna be a bit different from what they were back at the very very start of season four now those were the main like gameplay patch notes and you know bug fix patch notes as mentioned we also saw some pretty significant updates to the warzone meta in some interesting ways and as we get into this part of the conversation quick reminder if you guys are new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed every day i got you covered with all things going on between mw2 warzone 2 and dmz so feel free to hit that sub button turn on those post notifications and join us ultimately on the road to a million subs also if you guys enjoy this video let me know by dropping a like on it as well would be seriously appreciated anyway over the weekend treyarch who was in charge of warzone ranked posted some tweets detailing some very significant changes to the ranked meta here in warzone 2 and likely something that will i would imagine cause some nerfs in the future maybe in some ways but Treyarch said Warzone ranked play update restrictions have been updated to include the KV broadside in general dragon's breath ammo for all shotguns and explosive ammo on all snipers in custom loadouts note 
ground loot is going to be updated at a later date to align with these new restrictions uh treyarch also mentions the kv broadside enlisted attachments will appear unrestricted in the custom loadout menus until a future update uh but are restricted in game and will show as restricted in loadouts once you're in a match so this drastically changes the uh overall war zone ranked meta now that said i've already seen some issues where the kv broadside actually still is not fully banned but that said they are attacking two very annoying metas or two very dominant metas i guess you could say it's annoying based on i guess your preference of do you like to use these weapons or not but the kv broadside in and of itself very dominant for close range fights pretty much the only thing that's competing with it right now is the iso because that thing's also pretty wild but then you add dragon's breath ammo on there and it shreds obviously it has the incendiary effect and so it's just causing even more havoc in those close range fights if you run into a full squad using these or even uh you know two-thirds of a squad using that it was a problem you are probably not getting out of that gunfight alive you were going to the gulag you were going to the spectator screen you are going to lose some sr out of that so that drastically affects the close range meta it's going to be much more smg based now or maybe ftac siege based now that's going to have a big impact on those gunfights then for long distance an even bigger impact is the restriction of the explosive ammo snipers this now means there are no one shot snipers at all in warzone ranked uh straight up it was just too dominant i guess from their point of view with the health update you could one shot knock somebody with an mcpr or a victus or an intervention but it might take 15 or 20 shots with a rifle and they didn't like that balance so now one if you're looking to snipe here in warzone 2 uh ranked at least i feel like the go-to is probably going to be the signal because you can at least spam that and if you're accurate with headshots or upper body shots that could still take down enemies pretty quick but overall it's going to be a lot more lmgs and rifles now it's going to be a very basic and much more straightforward meta still very diverse in my opinion because there's a lot of lmgs that are very good right now there's a few rifles that are very good right now some battle rifles in there too but this does change things up a ton this completely alters the top of the meta within warzone ranked so definitely a very impactful update there even though it only ended up restricting three things in total right now uh four ranks specifically of course pubs though you can still use all of that there's still the one shot snipes which by the way are super strong right now because of that health increase at least if you're accurate you can still use the kv broadside with the fire ammo up close you're gonna dominate there so uh just keep in mind that is specifically meant for ranked that being said that is effectively everything that ended up changing over the weekend with these new updates in warzone 2 and dmz that's gonna wrap things up if you guys enjoyed the video let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new here feel free to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications to always stay up to date with all things going on but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later peace out